Well, it's uh, Sunday afternoon, and as you've probably guessed from previous videos, these videos on a Sunday are slightly different to the ones that I usually put out on a Wednesday. And today's one's something completely different again. It does involve a bit of hiking, and it does, does involve a bit of photography. Um, but not photography with the camera I usually use. It's actually photography, but I do use this camera a lot, as you'll probably find out next week. <laughs> But I took my iPhone and I also took my GoPro with me and the, the reason I put this up today is, uh, yes, well, you'll see this, so this, earlier on today, so yesterday if you're watching this on Sunday, it actually snowed and it snowed down to a low level and this year it's not, there's not been much snow at all uh, at low level or, or even up in the mountains in Scotland. And what happened with this snow event was it was just a it was a weather front moving in off the Atlantic and it bumped into some cold air and it tipped it down with snow uh, before turning to rain. Outside now, unfortunately, it's turned back to rain and it's starting to melt. But when it when it came, it, we weren't sure if it was going to rain and sleet or snow, and it turned out it snowed and it snowed for oh, four or five hours. So myself and a new member of the Steaming Boots team, as well as my son and my wife went for a hike up a local uh, well, a local hill, a very well-known hill around here and I decided to try capture some yeah, capture some footage of the new member of the Steaming Boots team uh, with the GoPro and also take some pictures just using my iPhone uh, which I do quite a lot anyway. As I said, next week's video talks all about my gear and it's a gear review of the cameras I use so if you're interested in that, tune in next Sunday but yeah, today is all about yeah, a wee snowy walk, and if you're watching this in the future, uh, the, the, the new member of the Steaming Boots team has actually already been introduced, it's just the fact that I haven't released the video yet, <laughs> so if you're watching this and wondering what I'm talking about, you've seen another one in the future, uh, anyway, it's uh, sort of back to the future stuff, it's kind of confusing me talking about it, uh, anyway, so hope you enjoy this, just a short, something different, short film from a snowy walk in Perthshire, let's go. A short drive across the town and we were soon finding ourselves driving uphill and towards the car park at the start of the walk. A nice short drive for a change and it was still pretty snowy. The snow hadn't turned to rain yet and we were all quite excited about heading up the hill in the snow. So I've come for a wee walk, I just up a local hill. I don't know if you saw my video a few weeks ago just talking about how, how nice it is just to be out for little walks and what have you. It doesn't have to be big walks. So today we're going up a hill called Canoole Hill. We've got the dog, I've got the family with me. And the snow's arrived, although it's turning a bit milder now. We maybe missed the most of it. It's, it's starting to turn a bit sleepy. But I'm going to see if I can get some uh, nice shots with the, with the iPhone this time. I don't have my big camera with me. Just the wee, uh, the wee iPhone. So let's see how we get on. See if we can get some nice photos in this snowy. Winter Wonderland. Wise horse. It's a bit quiet on the walk actually, it's usually quite busy. I think the weather had put people off. I think the horse had the right idea as well, hiding under the trees. Anyway, on we went and the dog seemed to be loving it. I think it was his first time in the uh, in the snow. <laughs> However, what, he, what she and didn't then, like oh. was the, uh, well, the oh, river crossing. So I uh, picked her up and tucked her under my arm and off we went. And she, uh, she loved it, she was having a great time in the Up snow. Here, it's a bit thicker here, isn't it? We're getting a bit higher now. And it's a bit, the, the snow is a bit thicker here actually. There's a, there's a good extra couple of centimetres than there is back down in the car, which is nice. So maybe when we get to the top, there'll be enough to build a wee snowman. <laughs> Who knows, but still looking out for some nice pictures and what have you with the iPhone. Don't need the good camera today. How are you guys doing okay? No, yeah. no. Uh, one says yes, one says no. <laughs> hey Lexi, come on! Yeah. Here she is. Hey. The snow was still falling and I decided to get the camera out. Well, when I say the camera, uh, I'm meaning the iPhone. <laughs> and I took some shots of the snowy landscapes. I think they, they've come out okay. Not too bad for the wee uh, phone camera. A 
few snaps taken and we headed on, but yeah, we had to have to watch our back. There was a wee uh, ninja on the hill that kept smacking us in the back with snowballs, but yeah, what do you expect? It was great snowball making snow, that wet, clumpy stuff. A bit unusual this year, we've not had much snow, we've had anyway, two or three days of snow down at uh, low level in the Perthshire. This is the first, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, it's not significant, up here there's maybe three or four centimetres of snow, which is nice, so this is why I'm making the video, it's March, mid-March now, so it's taking its time coming. It's just lovely walking through the forest here, and the snow falling down, and that kind of silence you get when everything's under a blanket of snow. It's lovely, I think the dog's loving it as well, it's just great, so absolutely fabulous. Not long to the top now. Almost there. I've not seen another soul so far. And the views you get from the top of this, uh, this hill is very popular, very well known views. And you get a great view of this folly and then down the River Tay, then the Karsagouri. Not sure if we're going to get much of a view from the top today because this cloud might be lying quite low. But we'll soon find out when we get to the top. And we'll see if we've got enough snow for that snowman. <laughs> it's beautiful, lovely. So before long, we found ourselves coming to a clearing in the trees and the folly at the top of Canoe Hill. Well, it's not actually at the summit of Canoe Hill, but it certainly commands a great view and there'll be many folk that have driven past this on the road just past the Friarton Road Bridge on the way to Dundee you see the folly up above the cliffs and it's fantastic anyway on to more important matters and when we got to the top we did find enough snow and set about building a snowman very quick job but satisfying nonetheless There's our snowman after all that, look at that. Na, 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 na. Woo after the snowman was built, the rest of the family headed back to the car, but I took a quick donder up to that famous viewpoint to see if I could capture the folly on Ooh. Canoe Hill. Look at that. Well that's the view I was talking about, that's the, the famous view of Canoe Hill and its folly. And if you're from this part of the world you'll have seen that picture a thousand times. I know what, I want to take a wee snap on my phone and see what comes out like this. It's a fantastic spot. You do have to be a bit careful today, it's a bit slippy here. And it's pretty steep down there. So, uh, yeah, let's take a quick snap and I'll catch the kids up. We're going back to the car. Right, quick photograph and back home. After taking a few photographs it was time to head back and catch up with the rest of the family and up I went, back past the folly and Mr Snowman was still there and I soon caught up with the rest of them and before long we were back in the car and heading back home to sit in front of the fire and have some hot chocolate. Fantastic, what a great wee walk this is and it's so good to have it right on our doorstep.